this is the my player builder in nba 2k24 so subscribe to the channel because i'm going to give you all the information you need so when you get on 2k24 you will know what you're doing in the builder so you don't waste your vc and in this video i'm going to show you all the nba template builds how weight wingspan and height affect your stats and badges an overhaul of the all the new build menus how the badge system works all the new and removed badges badge and animation requirements the my player build tester and some cool build names in nba 2k24 so drop a like right now if you want to see some build videos from me and footage of builds i made at 2k community day and get out your notepad and let's go ahead and get started what is good youtube it's your boy henry aka double h back at it with yet another banger let's get into the builder immediately now before we enter this builder we got to go over a couple things that i need to say real quick that y'all need to hear now once again this is the menus at community day that we had i already uploaded about mama moments quick play um and a couple other things but yeah so now we get to upload anything about the builder and the rec so stay tuned on the channel make sure you are subscribed with notifications on so one thing i'm going to say about the build is you're not gonna be able to make this same build you made in 2k23 it's just physically impossible the stats on the best 2k24 builds are going to be much worse than the stats on the best 2k23 builds if that makes sense so for example a build i'll talk about that was from 2k21 the six ones that had like an 85 driving dunk 90 something three 90 something ball handle you know super high stats there and then still like a steal like you're not gonna get away with that like you're not you're not gonna have half of that stuff in 2k24 so if you want to make a build from a prior 2k i would recommend going back to look at your 2k20 2k19 stats of your builds and maybe looking at that if you want to make a build that you had in the earlier 2k because the stats for the best builds in 2k24 are going to be more similar to those type of builds basically what i'm trying to get at is 2k24 is going to have more archetypes rather than demigod superstars from 2k23 now another thing i want to say is we had a limited time time at community day so obviously no one there probably made the best build in the game because even the best build you could have possibly made at community day we still don't know what animations we like there may be something at like 80 ball handle that I, that's really good and that i like better than the 85 ball handle moves and i don't know that yet so we can't really min max our build to our liking yet but we can still get a good idea of what's gonna be good what's gonna be bad if that makes any sense but despite that i am still very confident in my builder knowledge and i can basically break down the entire builder to you right now so let's go ahead and do that so as soon as you click on the builder screen you're gonna be greeted by a bunch of save files that you potentially have now you have a total of 10 save files like usual this year and then once you click on a builder save file you're gonna be greeted by the my player you know custom customization screen where you can scan your face choose how you want your player to look and once you get through that you're going to be greeted by two options you can either create your own player from scratch or you can create a player based on one of the nba templates so let's say you choose to do the nba template you can then fill in your first name your last name your left or right hand your jersey number and then continue and then once you do that it's going to bring you to a screen where you can change the position from point guard shooting guard small four power four to center and it's going to give you a bunch of different player options that are actual nba players with their own stats badges and animation now if you do want to choose one of these builds you could eventually click customize build and then even change the stats if you want and go from there and we'll show you guys every single nba template build there is in this game the good ones and the bad ones as well and we'll also talk about the advantages and disadvantages of making an nba template build rather than making a build from scratch but anyways let's say you wanted to make a build from scratch the same thing would happen you'd be able to fill in your first last name jersey number handness all that good stuff and then you would continue and then you would be able to build your build from scratch like usual you would pick your position your height your weight your wingspan and while you do all that you can see your stats in the middle on how they change based on your height weight and wingspan and you're also going to be able to see your badges that are available based on your height weight and wingspan and notice that the badges are not grouped in finishing shooting defense and we'll go over how that all affects and how this is grouped up in the tiers I'll explain all of that later on in this video. I'm just showing you the different screens of the builder right now. Anyway, so once you go from that screen, then it brings you to this screen where you actually adjust the stats and you can actually see what badges you are getting on the side with the description. And it'll also tell you what level you can get these badges on if you put certain stats to certain attributes to unlock those badges on that little scroll wheel on the right. And not only that, there's a little green bar in the background of all the attributes that fills up. And once it reaches all the way to the top, you are a 90 
99 overall and as soon as you complete that usually there is a takeover screen but takeovers are not in the build system this year and i'll talk about why that is the case later on the video if you still don't know about that and you will immediately be greeted by your build name now there is a lot of new build names in nba 2k24 and we're going to be going over a lot of the ones that i saw while making a bunch of different kind of builds because i made lockdowns point guards iso builds center builds slasher builds and you're going to see all those builds on the channel i'll be uploading everything about that and everything i learned about making those builds anyways then you can either test your build or edit your build or literally just continue to mic usually there would be another step where you can test your build and put the badges on that is not the case this year because of how the new badge system is and i will explain that further on in the video but yeah the test of build is just the same 3v3 or 5v5 options now honestly this is not a good way to test your build and it wasn't a good way for anyone at community to test their build because obviously you have no badges in this mode now number one because you can't put them on in the test uh entry thing but not only that the ais are just all over you you have nowhere to breathe and not only that you can't pick your jump shot or your animations in this test thing so you get random animations and jump shots it's just not a good way to go about testing the build and not only that you don't know what difficulty it is on. We were not sure if the difficulty in the home screen was what it was on because I had that on Superstar and Hall of Fame most of the time where I was actually making builds but you couldn't adjust any of that in the actual settings while you were testing your build but anyways that is all the screens for the builder now let me explain everything in depth so you can have a better idea on how you're going to create your build in NBA 2k24 and also so you don't have a massive headache while loading up this builder like and looking at it like it's a whole math equation sitting there worrying about messing up your first build in 2k24 because it definitely costs a lot of vc and vc as we all know costs a lot of money so let me try to help y'all out all right so the first thing we're gonna do is go over every single preset build and nba 2k24 and afterwards then we'll go over all the details in the builder in the scratch builder menu but anyways these are all the preset builds i'm gonna shout out every single time i see one of the builds that i thought was one of the best preset builds now the first one is lamello ball this is one of the ones that i thought was one of the better ones outside of the defense obviously uh this build is pretty solid six seven good wingspan good offensive stats uh the only problem yeah the defense is pretty bad but at least he has the 71 perimeter defense but yeah these templates also if you don't adjust anything but the handness you will get all of the animations these nba template players have so let's say i make the luca build i'll get his jump shot his drill moves literally everything off rip as a 60 overall i won't have to meet the attribute requirements to have those animations you know what i'm saying so let's say luca's drill moves i need a 75 ball handle if i'm a 60 overall and i have a 40 ball handle i'll just have them immediately instead of having to wait to get to that 75 ball handle to get them but if you change one stat or you change anything then you won't get those animations off rip so that's one advantage of having a custom build uh but besides that i don't think there is a reason to make a custom or a, a, a nba template build i don't see another reason to do it um there maybe there's like some kind of animation glitch in the future i don't know but other than that i don't see a big reason to uh, get one but this is another good one the jalen brown build was pretty solid but yeah looking at these builds this is going to give you a good idea in this video of what kind of attributes are actually possible in this builder so you're seeing some builds right now on the screen obviously they're nba template builds but most of these builds like aren't bad they might look bad because you're used to the 2k23 build system stats but these are the capable stats in the 2k24 builder so like i said earlier the best build in 2k24 is gonna be looking a lot worse than the best build in 2k23 this marcus smart builds pretty solid too outside of the driving dunk but it's got some solid stats and the clay thompson build this is actually one of the better builds i liked that build right there small forwards bridges has a solid uh small forward build jimmy butler i really like this one too this one's a really good uh all-around build outside the block i don't know why it's a 25 block this is the best one i think this paul george one is the best nba template build y'all are gonna let me know in the comment section everyone comment your favorite nba template builds i think this paul george one is the best one you're six eight you got good wingspan you got a little strength and you're just all around pretty solid this brandon inger one's pretty good i heard his animations are really good in 2k24 as well you got michael porter jr there's a lot of good center ones so if you're a big man there is a lot of good nba template uh builds in uh this nba template build thing but they're not all nba players in here so that's why i'm showing you something like there's no lebron james there's no kevin durant and i'm sure the reason they didn't put those guys in there is because it's probably not possible 
to make a LeBron James in here without making it look a lot worse than LeBron's actual stats, even though I'm sure most of these NBA template builds are a lot worse than their actual stats. Jaron Jackson Jr., one of my favorite NBA template builds. This is a very good one. Got a good block, got a good um, interior defense, good shooting and finishing stats. Uh, that was one of my favorite ones right there. So we got JJJ, Paul George, Jimmy Butler. Uh, what was the other one? Lamella Ball. We got some solid ones that I pointed out so far. Laurie Markkinen, also a decent one. A lot. His close shot is insane. A 98 close shot. And he's got a good mid-range. And the mid-range mid -range got a buff this year, if y'all didn't know. So mid-range shooting is going to be... There's going to be a meta around mid-range shooting at some point, I'm sure. Then we got Evan Mobley. Evan Mobley, once again, I mean, he's got a 73-pointer. We're going to talk about a three-pointer in some of my other build videos. Y'all are going to see the best center builds, the best lock builds, the best guard builds, the best iso builds, all for me on the channel. Carl Anthony Towns, I heard his jump shot. Someone in the testing room that i was in was using his jump shot and he was saying it was crazy good in 2k24 so my poppers look out for that deandre ayton he has a 90 standing dunk that actually meets the requirements for contact standing dunks we'll talk about that later in the video all the requirements for all the animations anthony davis is one of the better ones too i also gets a 70 ball handle as well i like the ad one that was probably one of the better uh nba template builds then we got Jokic, another good nba template build i like a 92 pass accuracy is insane the bonus was another one good one too i'm telling you there's a lot of good center ones and miles turner i like this one too there is a lot of good center options under the nba template so i'd say the most likely uh people to make nba template builds is probably all my centers out there because there's a lot of good options other than that you know you got jimmy Butler, paul george you got Lamelo Ball. You got some other pretty decent ones. But we're going to go ahead and customize the Paul George one. Now, I'm not going to show all the specific details in the builder under this NBA template thing. But like I said, you can change the position. You can change the height. You can change the weight. You can change the wingspan. But if you change anything outside of the left or right-handed thing, you will not get the animations for making this NBA template build. Okay, so just going to make that clear. But anyways, let's move on to making the build from scratch and teach you guys everything you're going to need to know about making your build at nba 2k 24. so the first thing we're going to look at is the first screen where you could choose your height your weight your wingspan your position now usually depending on your position your height max your weight max and your wingspan max changes and the other things that change along with that is your attributes and your baddest and it's still like that but the only difference from 2k 23 to 2k 24 as you can see a point guard 66 max weight is 230 pounds but now, even if I make the exact same wingspan, exact same height at a different position, the max weight is different. So a 6'6 small forward is 200, can go up to 250 pounds, but a 6'6 point guard cannot go up to 250 pounds. So depending on your position, regardless if your height and your wingspan is the same, you can get a higher weight, which affects your strength, your speed, your acceleration, a bunch of good baddies in 2K24. Look, center, seven foot, max weight's 290 pounds. But a power forward, seven foot, max weight is 285 pounds. Now pay attention to what attributes are affected by the weight. And keep in mind, there are baddies that are affected by these attributes, meaning there are baddies that are affected by adjusting your weight. So your driving layup, driving dunk, speed with ball, perimeter defense, speed, acceleration, vertical, and stamina are all affected by your weight. So the other thing we need to talk about is wingspan and how drastically different it affects your player than last year so as you guys know like i said earlier height weight and wingspan is going to affect the attributes your player gets and the possible badges you can end up earning on certain tiers and certain levels right so right here we have a six foot five point guard 203 pounds 610 now look at all the red stats so i'm talking about mid-range three-pointer ball handle speed with ball perimeter defense speed and vertical these are all the stats that are going to go down as your height increases we have a 92 possible three-pointer at 65 right so just remember that but then when we go up to 66 look at 88 three-pointer so we're already down three now so look at as the height increases again to 67 now we're already down to an 83 three-pointer so at 67 and we're not even at max wingspan right now. We already have just about the same three-pointer you would have on a max wingspan 
6'9 player in 2K23. But not only that, look at the other stats. Look at acceleration. Acceleration went from a 90 to an 81, just going from 6'5 to 6'7. Now, 6'8, the three pointer didn't change, but that's because we haven't maxed the wingspan. And y'all know when the height goes higher, the wingspan's max can go higher as well. So look at, we're going to go 6'8. I'm just messing with the weight right here. Look at how the weight affects interior defense, affects some other baddest defense rebound, and affects strength, obviously. The maximum three-pointer you can get is a 78, y'all. Do you realize how big of a difference that is in 2K23? Once again, in 2K23 on a 6'9", which is taller than 6'8", 7'7 wingspan, which is more than 7'6 wingspan, is max wingspan on a 6'9", you could still get an 82 three-pointer in 2K23. You can't even get that on a 6'8 max wingspan. But not only that, spoiler alert, limitless range on bronze is an 85 three-pointer. Yeah, so you cannot get limitless range for a lot of these tall builds with high wingspan. It's just not going to happen. Other stats that were heavily nerfed based on wingspan and height adjust abilities is acceleration. In 2K23, with this exact weight, height, and wingspan, I would have a 79 acceleration. But in 2K24, I have a 73 acceleration. Not only that, I would have had a 79 speed ball and an 89 ball handle. Now I only have an 85 ball handle and a 76 speed ball. So the main thing to get from this is that the builder is a lot more strict if you're going to go higher in height and longer in wingspan. So obviously y'all know the position affects your height, weight, and wingspan mins and maxes. And now you guys know what your weight gets affected by and what your wingspan affects in the builder. Now let's talk about your height specifically. Obviously your height goes into what your min max can be on weight and wingspan as well. But there are a lot of badges that you can get and cannot get because of your height. So we're gonna go over every single badge that has a height restriction on it. So make sure to take out your notepads to write this stuff down. So starting with finishing badges, the max height for Acrobat is 6'11". The max height for Giant Slayer is seven foot. Rise Up, you need to be at least 6'4". Bulldozer, you need to be at least 6'5". Back Down Punisher, you need to be at least 6'4". Moving on to shooting badges, the maximum height that you can have Agent 3s at still is 6'11". And the maximum height to have Space Creator still is 6'11". And then the maximum height to still have Slippery Off Ball is 6'9". Moving on to the passing badges, max height for Bailout is 6'10". The minimum height for Post Playmaker is 6'6". Moving on to Ball Handling badges, the maximum height to still have Ankle Breaker is 6'9". The minimum height to have Big Driver is 610. The maximum height to have blow by is 611. The maximum height to still have handles for days is 7 foot. The maximum height to still have hyperdrive is 610. The maximum height to still have killer combos is 610. The maximum height to still have physical handles is 610. The maximum height to still have speed booster is 69. The maximum height to have triple strike is 611. And then finally with the defensive badges, the minimum height to have brick wall is 66 and the most important one, the minimum height to have anchor is 67 the minimum height to have chase down artists is 63 the minimum height for post lockdown is 66 the maximum height for fast feet is 69 the maximum height for pick dodger is 610 the maximum height for glove is seven foot the maximum height for right stick ripper is seven foot the minimum height for immovable enforcer is 65 the maximum height for 94 feet is 68 the minimum height for pogo stick is 64 the minimum height for box out beast is 6'3 and that is all the badges that have a height restriction to them so if you are looking to get any of those badges you need to keep that in mind when you are picking your height now the last thing to go over on the screen is the possible badges on the right now obviously you're not gonna get all these badges these are just the possible badges you can get based on the potential max attributes you have in the middle and you can see that the badges are grouped in S, A, B, and C tier. We're going to talk about that more on what those tiers mean on the next screen. But just notice how all of these badges are not grouped by defense, shooting, finishing, and playmaking like they usually are. So when you look at this screen when you're first on the game, you're probably not going to recognize a lot of the actual images on these badges because there are a lot of new badges we're going to go over. But yeah, don't let that give you a big headache. Let's go on to the next screen. So the next screen, you have your position, height, weight, and wingspan on the left, and then you have your attributes in the middle and as you upgrade this little green bar is going to fill up 
in the background and once that reaches the top that means you're going to be a 99 overall and it'll also show 99 and a 99 at the potential overall at the top that's where your overall is and it also has a little bar on the top of the remaining attribute potential you have remaining so the green bar represents how much overall you have left and on the right you have your badge view you can either look at the relevant badges which is the list of badges that are affected based on what rating you're hovering over on the left so if i'm hovering over driving dunk as you can see the badges that are being affected when i decrease and increase my driving dunk rating is post riser slithery finisher precision dunker aerial wizard bunny spin cycle two-step and whistle and it'll show different types of badges that are affected by different different types of attributes depending on what attribute you are hovering over there's also an all badges screen that you can be on where it's just going to show all the badges more in like a menu if you can recognize them by the images i would recommend that otherwise for all my people that are newer to the build they're definitely going to want to read what each badge does and what attribute each badge needs to get upgraded to the next thing another thing you'll see in this relevant badges menu is not only expanding information on what the badge does but also what you need for the next upgrade. So as you can see right now, I have blinders bronze and it says I need an 83 mid range or a 79 three pointer for silver. And that badge is only linked to one attribute technically. Now, if you look at fearless finisher, you need at least a 55 strength for bronze. And then also you need a 68 close shot or a 70 driving layup. So you need both the strength and either one of the close shot and the driving layup. So for gold speed booster right here, I need a 90 92 ball handle and an 83 speed with ball and on top of that i need either an 86 speed or an 87 acceleration so there are some badges that are linked to one attribute some that are linked to two and some that are even linked to three now you can also look at the old badges menu and when you hover over certain badges it'll literally tell you what you need at the bronze silver gold and hall of fame level rather than just the next level now something you might notice is that badge points are completely gone from the builder usually in other builds you would see like the amount of defensive badges you have finishing badges shooting badges playing badges is those badge counts are completely gone instead like what i said we have the old badges category and these badges once again are not separated from finishing defense shooting and playmaking instead they're separated by tiers so we got s tier a tier b tier and c tier now all the badges you see on this screen while you're making your build are all the badges you can get like you can literally get all those badges maxed out there's no limit to that the thing is the higher the tier the harder that badge is going to be able to get and not only that it's also going to be easy to lose yes you can lose badges in 2k24 and i'm going to throw up some screenshots on the screen we didn't get to mess with this at community day but there's also going to be badge perks so you can see right here someone has like loadouts of badges in each uh badge perk there's an overdrive perk immunity perk drill savant perk and scholar perk i'm going to show up on the screen what these perks mean basically you can put perks on some badges where it's easy to get that badge now you can put a perk on a badge where it's harder to lose that badge now and then there's other perks where some badges can go up and down based on where you are and where you're getting that badge like if you see the drill seven badge you can literally get badges in the practice facility not only that there's gonna be floor setters that you can earn in the free season passes basically let's say i have gold green machine i can pull a floor setter on that to the point where it can never go below gold now the highest floor setters you can get are gold floor setters and there are setters for literally every badge tier except for hall of fame another thing that i was told is that when you make your build you're gonna have all bronze badges immediately so once you have a bronze badge you can't lose it you can't lose a bronze badge and i'm pretty sure you're also gonna have automatically all the badges that you can unlock on bronze so you don't have to grind for bronze badges you also can't lose a badge below bronze so once again any of the badges you see on this screen while making your build are badges you're automatically gonna have on bronze and can go up to whatever they can go up to based on what your attributes are now before i show all the badge level requirements let's talk about all the new badges and all of the removed badges so here's a picture on your screen of all the badges that were in 2k23 that are no longer in 2k24 so we have limitless takeoff volume shooter amped bully menace mismatch expert quick first step floor general clutch shooter clamp breaker and vice grip now some of these badges were replaced with a new badge and some of them are just completely gone and replaced by a whole different badge 
badge so y'all probably know about all the other badges that were already in 23 that are in 24 again so let's show up on the screen all the new badges all their definitions and we're categorizing them by shooting finishing playmaking defense now you can take a screenshot of this you can read this over you can pause your screen look at all these badges and see exactly what they do and even if you don't want to do that in the builder you can literally see the definition of all the badges in there as well which is kind of cool and what ratings you need them all at but when i was looking at the game the badges that spoke out to me of badges that i think are going to be very good is of course the, all the defensive badges i'm not gonna lie all those defensive badges all four of them are good okay there's not a single new defensive badge that i don't think is gonna be good the playmaking badges big driver for big men physical handles and speed booster are also some good badges as well especially speed booster if you want to be able to dribble driving badges there's a lot of good driving badges i'm not gonna lie all the badges on here are good but the ones that are like really speak out precision dunker and bulldozer y'all those two badges if you want to slash those are two must-have badges bulldozer you're literally gonna throw people out the way it's basically bully 2.0 but better you even get some of those animations at the three point line when you're just dribbling into somebody and precision dunker is gonna allow you to just green more with the dunk meter so why would you not want to have that badge no the shooting ones open looks and spot finder the two ones that's that are nice that are on this list so definitely gonna want to look into those for sure yeah anyways take a screenshot of this if you want to look at all the new badges in 2k24 because if you're in the builder making your new build for 2k24 you're definitely gonna want to know the badges you're getting and not getting that you didn't know about in 2k23 all right so now i'm gonna show all of the requirements for every badge level for every badge in the game so make sure to pause if needed take your your screenshots if needed as well because this is very important and like i was talking about earlier when it's harder to get some of these attributes now you're gonna see it's even more harder because these badges have big requirements now so starting with all the passing and ball handling badges the first thing you're probably gonna notice is just for bronze bailout you need an 87 pass accuracy that is insane y'all that is crazy that's a w though this is gonna this is what's gonna create balance in the builder and also give the builder a lot of variety of builds that are gonna have a purpose on the basketball court so this is a good thing y'all another thing you notice like gold dimers and 89 uh pass accuracy another thing you're gonna see is a lot of ands and ors for badges so some badges you need two different ratings some you need even three different ratings to get that badge and if you don't have all two all three you're not even gonna get the badge a uh, speed booster is a big one to look at okay look at there is literally four three there's three ratings that you're going to need for speed booster you're going to need ball handle and speed with ball requirements and then you're also going to need either speed or acceleration which you're probably going to be upgrading regardless another thing that's interesting is the unpluckable badge requirements bronze silver and gold you need you can do post control or ball handle but if you want hall of fame you have to have ball handle you cannot get hall of fame unpluckable with post control anymore same with speed booster speed booster is like the new quick first step for guards you can't get speed booster with post control like you could last year with quick first step even the quick first step for big man which is big driver in the middle you can't even get that with post control so people finessing quick first step kind of badges last year with post control that's not going to be a thing this year another one to look at is handles for days look at handles for days on silver is an 80 gold jumps up to a 91 ball handle and you also need both that and stamina like if you want gold handles for days you have to have a 96 stamina and the 91 ball handle killer combos is another crazy jump from bronze to silver 75 ball handle to 87 ball handle just from bronze to silver physical handles is another good one to look at i'm gonna have physical handles on hall of fame i should i, I should say that am i allowed this i don't know bro but i'm gonna have a lot of builds coming to y'all soon okay this is getting me excited just looking at this y'all because i'm so confident in some of my builds bro there's probably gonna be a couple tweaks with some of my builds on launch day because i'm sure they probably adjusted a couple of things in the builder because these are the final stats i don't think these were the final animations that we were looking at when we were actually at community day making our builds so keep that in mind but i'll talk about that my, and remind you guys of that in my builder videos anyways shooting badges look at midi magician you can get bronze at 59 but if you want gold 84 midi 92 midi for hall of fame look at agent threes yo silver agent threes you need an 86 three-pointer and gold jumps to a 94 even claymore is has a big jump from silver to gold like 70 to 82 that's kind of crazy limitless range is the best thing by far this is gonna create a huge Huge variety of builds in 2k24 and it might bring pure sharps back to the game look at bronze limitless 85 three-pointer that's already insane silver 92 
gold 96 Th this is insane y'all i mean this is a w this is going to create balance in the builder look at the jump from silver to gold on green machine 78 76 mid-range 78 three-pointer all the way to 88 mid-range 89 three-pointer you got open looks that's a pretty solid badge a lot of y'all will probably at least have that on silver and look at the spot finder one there you have to have acceleration for that and then you can either get it with close shot or mid-range or three-pointer so there's a lot of different ways to get that spot finder badge i'm sure y'all see the free throw badge as well and slippery off ball is also interesting that's based off of only acceleration not off shooting anymore now we are looking at the finishing badges now you're going to see a lot of these finishing badges are related to strength we already saw some badges on the playmaking side related to strength like physical handles but look at some of these badges bro let's look at bulldozer in the middle 84 for silver 92 for gold 96 for hall of fame anyone that gets hall of fame bulldozer on your build is probably gonna be a center or like a pure slasher but those builds are still gonna be nasty bro spin cycles another good badge you can easily get that badge on hall of fame and that that's gonna be a crazy badge for those post scores out there you see hook specialist i'm not gonna lie bro that's looking a little too easy for the post scores to get on the hall of fame they need to bump that up bro 92 close shot for hall of fame and 86 that's it that's it i mean dude oh my god even post spin technician hall of fame at 90 post control bro why are post scores getting special treatment another one to look at is post riser because it's linked to vertical hall of fame post riser 99 dunk gold 93 silver 86 bronze you only need a 73 precision dunker is another one so let's say you want to get contact dunks right and i think there's a contact dunk that unlocks at 89 i'll show y'all those animations later as well at gold there's a 90 driving dunk so you may as well get that but yeah take a screenshot of this now looking at the defensive badges listen if you're one of those small guards that likes offense bro you're not getting any of these badges bro because a lot of the good defensive badges you really need to upgrade your defense so a lot of y'all that want to upgrade your finishing your shooting your playmaking you're not gonna have defense bro a lot of y'all are not gonna have any defense that's good or worth upgrading at 6'6 six, six or below because you're not gonna have any kind of interior blocking or anything like that. And you're certainly not gonna get any badges to go along with it. So the really good defensive builds, in my opinion, are all gonna be 6'8 or above. Unless like you're a lock guarding the perimeter, that's a different thing. You can get away with like 6'7, maybe 6'6. Six, six. But look at you want Hall of Fame clamps, 99 perimeter defense. Silver is an 85 fast beats another badge to look at there for y'all lockdowns anchor is a big one bro remember i said earlier minimum six seven and it's tied to interior defense and block now see that's the biggest change with this build system is these badges are tied to more than one attribute like before it, uh, anchor was only block it was literally just block now you have to have both interior defense and block which makes sense interceptor just to get gold you need an 89 steel glove gold 91 steel pick dodger hall of fame 98 perimeter defense and movable force is another big one this one's just only purely based off strength hey 82 strength for movable force that's pretty solid the pogo stick requirements just shows you how in-depth this bad system is like they're really looking at everything like they know vertical block offensive rebound defense rebound all would link to that it's literally perfect you see you need a 99 rebound for hall of fame rebound chaser and yeah take a screenshot of all these this is going to be very useful when you are making your build and drop a like for your boy for giving me all these information we're so into this video i know i'm helping some of y'all out and definitely saving y'all some of your vcs so you may as well subscribe we're gonna have a lot of gameplay coming out in 2k24 and more builds so if you're seeing this video i'm gonna start running builds out locks centers guards uh iso builds everything bro that i made a community day. all right so now i'm gonna go over some animation requirements since we just went over the badge requirements now while we were at community day making our builds they gave us basically like a packet with a bunch of papers that had all the requirements for dribble moves dunk packages passing styles and all that good stuff and what uh ratings we needed for them and what heights of mins and maxes that we had to be in to get these animations right now they said they might change some of these by launch day so i don't know if these are going to be 100 accurate that's why i'm not going to give you guys all of the stuff because maybe some stuff was changed 
but a couple ones to know i'm going to show on the screen so here's all like regular nba dunk packages i'm just going to show a couple notice that i just threw in dr disrespect they have a dr disrespect dunk package i don't even know what that's going to be but michael jordan you 94 dunk 78 vertical uh there's a lebron james russell westbrook scotty pippen so y'all can write that stuff down look at that but I would highly advise all of you before you make your build, just make a random 60 overall, go into the city and then see what animations you need for certain animations that you want. So you can actually see it for yourself before making your build. Cause obviously you don't want to make your build, then upgrade it with a VC and then find out that you didn't reach the animation caps that you wanted to. Okay. So I would just do that regardless, but for the people that want to know some things before the game comes out, here's some dunk packages. Here are all the contact dunks. Uh, there's two standing dunks. Uh, there's two contact dunks that are 6'4 and below and the rest of the contact dunks are just based off the ratings and have no height restriction now here are some random pass styles the highest pass style there was is jason williams at 90 and the lowest was john moran a bonus at 75. there are also some other good ones that i personally like to hal burton steph curry and lamella ball and i'm not gonna show like a bunch of drill moves but i will show you guys some attributes of what's affected so speed with ball unlocks dribble styles and then ball handle unlocks hesitations behind the backs crossovers aggressive breakdown combos step backs escape moves spins sig size ups regular breakdown combos and combo moves now these are just some random ball handle ratings that i saw were for some of these moves so you know how, like usually there's like okay 90 up 90 ball handle and up 92 ball handle and up 85 80 75 well these are just a bunch of random numbers like there was a bunch of random ball handle numbers to unlock a new dribble like look at this there's 40 55 60 69 70 77 78 there's 95 92 88 so literally you could have like an 82 ball handle but then there's another move that you could get an 83 ball handle so like literally every ball handle attribute is going to be very key and is going to determine what animations you don't and do get there's a bunch of dribbles that you can only unlock if you're six four or below and there's a bunch of other dribble moves that you can only unlock if you're six nine and below and there's also dribble moves that you can only lock if you're six five or taller and there's other dribble moves that you can only unlock if you're six ten or taller but i'm pretty sure the only dribble moves that are six ten or taller were victor women yama's dribble moves. so now i'm gonna give my final thoughts on the builder and my tips for you guys going into 2k24 and while i'm doing that i'm showing all the build names i saw in the background while i community day so some of them are actually cool there's actually some fire build names there's some unique build names finally so let me know which one y'all think was the best build name here okay so my final tips and thoughts do not go into 2k24 with a 2k23 mindset especially with the builder focus on a build and a play style you're familiar with do not force another build onto yourself make sure to check all the animation requirements and the badge requirements if you need to make a 60 overall to look at the animations then do that physical attributes matter this year for not just your build but for your badges as well of course take your time making your build look at all the badge areas and what the badges do and make a build that'll work with your teammates or your team that you play on or at least the team that you usually play on strength matters especially for centers slashers and lockdowns and if your build is similar to one of the presets you may as well just make one of the preset builds and if you're extra worried about messing up your first build just wait a week or two maybe play the mama moments maybe play something else see what builds end up coming out i'm sure my first build will be good but my second build is always gonna be of even better because i'm gonna find what animations are actually good in the game and what i like and what i prefer and then i'll be able to min max my build to the best of its abilities but if you do want to see some builds that you're capable of making make sure to turn on notice because we're posting slasher builds lockdown builds point guard builds center builds and iso builds on the channel before 2k24 drops and there might even be one that's already up there is rec game belly that's already posted so make sure to click the video on your screen it's been your boy henry aka double h make sure you subscribe drop a like of the video for helping you guys out and i'm out y'all peace